you, it's fine to hate on the people that rug pull. It's fine to hate on some NFT projects that are obviously scammy. But the hate on NFTs as a whole is to hate gaming itself. All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about a, a topic that's been going around the gaming community for a little bit now. Um, are NFTs going to ruin gaming? A lot of people are thinking this, and it's a surprise about how like much of a pushback the gaming community has been on NFTs. Let me explain why. Um, if you don't know exactly, NFTs are simply non-fungible tokens, which just mean that they exist, and their proof of existence can be confirmed by a third-party uh, program that's it's like a ledger, it's the blockchain, and it's essentially what's already been happening in gaming, specifically for the PC community, which is a big community, uh, for years in the Steam database. The Steam database, uh, as you guys know, let's say you're playing a game like League of Legends, and you're playing and you unlock a skin. So if you get a skin in League of Legends, you can't sell it, you can't trade it. Once you buy it, if you spend like 50 bucks or 100 bucks on it, once you buy it, it's in your account forever. You can't get rid of it, you can't trade it, you can't sell it nothing it's in your account just like fortnite fortnite there's a bunch of there's pickaxes there's backpacks there's wings gliders there's emojis there's everything once you buy it, it's tethered to your account forever so if you ever stop playing the game for instance when everyone dropped off one season i think two hit or something like that uh when fortnite dropped and viewership and audience significantly um there's no way to cash out your money's stuck to that game forever uh there's nothing you can do about that which I find very interesting that the gamers are pushing back on this because uh, the current system is is a flawed. Um, let's say you buy a physical copy of a game at least. Like if you buy an Xbox 360 game and it's not downloadable, you actually have the disc in case. Once you don't like the game anymore or speed it or you get tired of it, you can sell it. At least get a percentage of your money back. With this, you can't. You're stuck with it. If you ever drop the game, if you go out of it, stop playing, you swear off video games, whatever... You can never sell sell it. You have to sell the entire account. And many times, especially right now, that account is tethered to other accounts in your system. Like Epic Games connects your Facebook, PSN, Xbox, uh, Twitch, so many things into one that by selling one account, you're actually like potentially at risk to getting hacked and stuff like that. So it's very surprising that this is such a pushback uh, to me. So let's look at what's already been going on because there's already, in order to see if this is successful, we have to see um, how the current system's been going at it and what and if it can be replaced. So this is essentially the Web 2 version of this, right? So Web 2 version of the NFT marketplace for gaming is simply something called uh, Steam. And Steam is something that's where uh, it's, a, it's a hub for games, it's a launcher. It has a bunch of different kinds of games. But the difference is a lot of games actually work with Steam so that if so they reward an item in the game, they get sell on Steam's marketplace. So if you have an item like the equivalent of League of Legends would be Dota, right? Dota 2. So if you get a Dota 2 skin or part of a skin, you don't even like Dota 2 that much or like you're just testing it out, you accidentally got something decent or even something worth like 10 cents. Or any game on, on Steam that you have to purchase comes with trading cards. The more you play it, you get a max of like, I think four trading cards per game or something like that. And you have to get eight to complete a whole set. If you don't care about getting these trading cards, you can just sell the trading cards on the market. Make at least a couple of cents, a couple of bucks back. So all of this happens and it's already existing. It's, it's similar. It's, ex it's almost exact to what... It's almost exact to what the NFT marketplace would be in these games. The only difference is that Steam doesn't let present cash out options. So let's say you get one of the, mo the most rare skins in any uh, game on Steam. So the most expensive uh, skin is a Krambit Case Hardened Blue Gem Factory New. It's $100,000 or over $100,000 actually. But the issue is, is that when you sell it and you want to cash out, all that money stuck on Steam. You can never get rid of that money. Like, you never transfer that money into your pocket without selling the whole account. But if you sell the whole account, people want discount because their money is now tied to, to Steam forever. And I don't care how big of a gamer you are. To, sp to spend $100,000 in games, you have to, you know, spend $100,000 in games, which I don't think anyone will do in their lifetime unless they're, like, addicted. So, all Web3 will do, Web3 is where the NFTs will lie, is simply present a cash-out option where you connect your account to your bank or a card and then it cashes out into your bank account the money you already have it just gives you the money that you that you already earned so in my opinion if you talk to me about this 
Cashing out is the only difference between the current systems and place with Fortnite, with Steam, with all these other games that already give you in-game items. They already give you these NFTs of some case. They are just not labeled NFTs. So I guess games need to stop labeling NFTs. For instance, Blanco's Block Party is Fall Guys. You get the items, you get the skins, you get different characters. Um, except it's just a better Fall Guys, but the difference is that it's called an NFT game, so it's crapped on like heavy in E3 2021, which is so surprising because the word NFT shouldn't be dangerous. I know a lot of people say like, oh, they're scammy, they're bad, they're this and that. NFTs aren't scammy. NFTs present a new new opportunity, and people felt prey because they wanted some get rich quick schemes, so they fell prey to this, and then they 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 invested their money. People rug pulled. People didn't do their research, they didn't do their due diligence, and then they got scammed and they're mad about it. And other people are mad for them. Don't be. Be responsible with your money. Look up the projects you're going into. If they don't have a docs team, if they don't have a good project, if they're only utility, the same utility in every single project. If you don't know the space, don't invest. I tell the people that all the time. Back when I was trading stocks, people asked me how I got to making like thousands of dollars doing uh, trade options. Because I invested in what I knew. I only really knew gaming markets. I only invested in Sony, GameStop, stuff like that. And then the GameStop burst happened. I didn't even know about it, but I made a good amount of money off of it. Just because I knew GameStop was, at, was, was undervalued. So, that's my little uh, tidbit of that stuff. So, guys, do not invest in things you don't know about. NFTs are not the enemy. The people behind the NFTs are the enemy. Alright? People behind the NFTs are the problem. Not all of them. But a lot of NFT communities are scammy and rug pullish and all these uh, bot advertisements. Long story short, if you see an ad that looks like every other ad you've seen, don't click on the ad, okay? If it says like, oh, the best PFP project, oh, to the moon, if it... No, don't follow it, don't follow up on it, do, do, do your research, see the community. They have to have some kind of docs team. They have to have some active Discord members and it's a lot, it's a lot that needs to go into this, okay guys? Um, yeah, do your research as always, but that's my two cents on our NFT is going to ruin gaming. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say gamers might ruin the NFT market because NFT games are good and they're out right now and people will not play them simply because they say NFTs. If you're a PC gamer, imagine this as RuneScape in 2008, right? RuneScape 2008, you had to log on, create an account hang out with stuff but you got items into your account you played with friends you didn't really understand it fully but you played the game it was a fun game and now you have memories that last you a lifetime try out blinko's block party try out farce try out all these games that don't require a, a, a wallet get some items maybe sell them see if it even works for you and then and then judge but people aren't even looking at these games people are hating on the nft concept of gaming people are hating games for having nfts people crapped on ubisoft for implementing them and they're like oh ubisoft is so stupid no ubisoft is actually going in the future ubisoft is is ahead of the market they tried something new right i'm gonna say that that wasn't their best their best idea to put nfts in the game but they tried something right so keep in mind ubisoft isn't a bad company they've done all many great things so again it's fine to hate on the people that rug pull. It's fine to hate on some NFT projects that are obviously scammy. But the hate on NFTs as a whole is to hate gaming itself. So I, I don't think you can hate gaming itself if you're a gamer. Flat out. You, you need to look into this. You need to try out some of the games. And even then, if you don't like a game, hate the game, not the concept. You've been using NFTs your whole life. If you're a gamer. You've been playing Fortnite. You've been playing League of Legends. You've been playing CSGO. You've been playing RuneScape. You've been playing so many games. The only difference is all those games don't want you to make money off of it from the game itself. Now you can. So keep that in mind, guys. Peace out. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later.